That's right. We're seeing some rain coming down. It's been on and off throughout the day, but it's really that wind that has just been picking up and becoming relentless. And just to kind of give you an idea, if you can make out the great pine cone here at the Weatherford Hotel, that's about 300, 400 pounds, and it's moving with ease with these strong wind gusts that we're seeing. And even though there is a little bit of rain coming down and those winds, we're told it's only going to get much worse from here. Another round of snow is headed toward Flagstaff, and some aren't too happy about it. Oh, I'm sick and tired of shoveling snow. Uh, it gets me every time. Especially since this one will be a completely different beast because of the strong winds that are expected. This is a potentially life-threatening storm that's going to be arriving. The Arizona Department of Transportation warning drivers that not only could there be whiteout conditions and slick roads, but the wind will be so strong it could topple over semi trucks. We're telling folks do not uh, drive into this storm. Anticipating I-17 and I-40 will be closed just to avoid drivers getting stuck. It's going to be inevitable uh, with this particular storm. Those in Flagstaff are listening. Visitors changing their plans. We went to Sedona today, so that way we would hopefully miss the snow. And locals staying in. I normally work in the office, but I'll stay home tomorrow because of the, the weather. Anything they can do to avoid what Mother Nature is bringing. Make sure you're ready to go. It's going to be an early one tomorrow. Now, we do have some closures to share. The city of Flagstaff saying all administrative offices and non-essential businesses will be closed. We also learned that Flagstaff and Williams Unified School Districts have canceled classes for today because of that snow. We'll be back out here in Flagstaff Live tomorrow morning for Today in AZ to bring you the latest on potential highway closures as well as additional school closures. So be sure to tune in tomorrow morning for the latest on what's going on here in Flagstaff. For now, we're live in downtown Flagstaff. Chase Lightly, 12 News.